Salesforce is one of the most commonly used and most recognized CRM systems in the marketplace. But is it the right fit for you and your sales organization? I'm gonna provide an independent review here today. My name is Eric Kimberling and I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients through their digital transformation journeys. And Salesforce is probably the best known CRM system in the marketplace. It's been around for about 20 years. A lot of organizations use it. Its name itself is very indicative of what the product does. And what we find is that there are a lot of good options in the marketplace. Salesforce is a great option. It's one of the leading options. But what I want to talk about here today are the pros and cons of the solution and ultimately give you some guidance to help determine whether or not it's a right fit for you. Now, one thing I'll note is that third stage and our team is independent. We're technology agnostic and vendor neutral. So this is meant to be a completely unfiltered and agnostic view of Salesforce. So before we jump into the pros and cons of Salesforce, it's helpful to look at the history and the origin of the product. It was started in the late 90s by a former executive of Oracle. And at the time that Salesforce started, there were a lot of big ERP systems out there. Companies like SAP, Bond was still very popular at the time. You had JD Edwards and PeopleSoft and other big ERP enterprise software solutions that were focused on for lack of a better word, trying to be everything to everyone. They were trying to provide back-end financials. They were trying to handle inventory management, warehouse management, customer service, and basically all the components of the needs that a business might have. And so what Salesforce did is they came along and completely disrupted the space by not trying to be everything to everyone, but to address the vulnerabilities and the weakness of the ERP industry in general, which is the whole customer relationship management space. So in other words, ERP systems at the time could do some basic light CRM, but they really fell short of what the needs of complex and large sales organizations were at the time. So Salesforce came along and disrupted the industry in that way by providing a very narrow and focused and deep set of functionalities and capabilities that was meant to attack the vulnerabilities of the ERP space. Now, the other way that Salesforce was disruptive at the time, and it doesn't sound so disruptive now, but in the late 90s, it was extremely uncommon, was that it was a cloud-based solution. 20 years ago, that wasn't very common. In fact, Salesforce and NetSuite and a handful of other systems out there at the time were the first solutions to come along and provide systems that didn't require on-premise installations of the software, and they were providing their systems and solutions via the cloud. Now, like I said today, that doesn't seem that unusual or far-fetched, but at the time, that was pretty unique and pretty innovative. So those are the two ways that Salesforce really just burst onto the scene very quickly and was very successful very quickly. In fact, within five years of its founding, the company went public and did very well and generates billions of dollars of revenue to this day. So with that all being said and looking at the history, let's also take a look at the pros and cons of the actual software itself. So Salesforce has a number of functional strengths as it relates to Salesforce automation, customer relationship management. And for now, I'm just going to talk about the core Salesforce solution. I'm not going to talk about some of the third party extensions of the product. So if we just look at Salesforce itself, there are a number of capabilities that it does very well. First and foremost, it helps customers manage their pipeline of potential customers and prospects. So they can track and manage the entire life cycle from first contact all the way through the closing of the business. And a lot of CRM systems out there in the marketplace will do that, but Salesforce is one of the first to develop that sales pipeline approach. And it really creates some fairly robust and flexible workflows within the overall sales pipeline. So for example, Salesforce allows you to attach documents and track information and notes and all your different touch points and things that happen along the way throughout the, the life cycle of your touch points with your potential customers. Now, in addition to the customer facing side of the sales pipeline management, Salesforce also provides a number of backend Salesforce management type of functionality. So for example, managing territories, assigning leads, tracking commissions, managing even reporting relationships between sales reps and their sales managers, quotas, targets, all that stuff can be managed within Salesforce and it provides a good central repository for everything that your sales organization needs, including your sales reps and upper management and anyone else that wants visibility into the pipeline and the related sales activities. 
So those are just a few of the strengths that Salesforce provides. Now on the surface, a lot of what I've said so far can also be provided by other CRM systems and even CRM modules within broader ERP systems. But Salesforce's depth of capability and flexibility and variety of workflows within those processes and workflows are very robust. And so Salesforce has some competitive advantages and definite strengths as it relates to basic CRM and Salesforce automation types of capabilities. And particularly if you're a larger global enterprise with a large sales team and a diversified product base and diversified prospect base, Salesforce can be a great fit for organizations that have that fairly complex need for robust capabilities. Another strength of Salesforce is the product's cloud maturity. As I mentioned before, it's been in the cloud for 20 years or more, whereas a lot of CRM and ERP systems are just now making that transition to the cloud. So in cases of systems that had been historically on-premise, think of all that time and money and R&D that had been invested in an on-premise solution that's now having to be rewritten or recreated for the cloud. And Salesforce doesn't have that problem. Everything they've invested in over the years and all the advancements that they've made in their native cloud solution has taken the product very far and it's given them a big head start, particularly as it relates to cloud capabilities and cloud functionality. So that's one thing that a lot of buyers of ERP and CRM software don't think about is what is the maturity of the product and what kind of functionality am I actually getting in this cloud solution? And a lot of customers and buyers don't realize that that capability is not necessarily yet in the cloud for many solutions. But with Salesforce, you're getting all the capabilities and all the R&D and all the capabilities that have been built over 20 years or more. So one of the biggest strengths of Salesforce is the product's flexibility. And Salesforce as a company and as a product has invested heavily in innovation and has created a very unique ecosystem of providers. So in addition to investing heavily in their own innovation, their own R&D, making the product better and providing a certain amount of functional flexibility, the company has also invested in and opened up its architecture to allow other third parties to create solutions that provide niche specific needs and offerings. So there might be specific capabilities that Salesforce as a core doesn't have that a third party provider, an app provider that provides a bolt on can offer up and it's native within the Salesforce architecture. It integrates seamlessly with Salesforce, but allows you to look at other options outside of the core capability of Salesforce. So in this way, they've created an ecosystem of products and extensions and offerings that allow it to accommodate specific sales needs, specific industries, specific product needs, and that sort of thing. So that's something that's very unique to Salesforce that other CRM systems don't have. So that flexibility and that extension of the product via other third-party providers is not only for the CRM and sales side of things, but also for the enterprise needs beyond sales. So for example, Financial Force, that's a financial product that bolts on to Salesforce that allows a company to extend the Salesforce footprint from not just CRM, but also into its finance and accounting in really creating more of a true ERP enterprise-wide solution. So Financial Force is just one of many examples of offerings and extensions provided by third parties that can be used to extend into ERP and really provides a way for Salesforce to now compete with ERP providers rather than just CRM providers on the sales side of things. Now on one hand, the flexibility of the product and the third party applications and entire ecosystem of the product is a strength. But there's also a dark side to that and that is that it can become overwhelming it can almost provide too much flexibility for an organization that doesn't know what they want to be when they grow up. If you don't have a clear sense of what your needs are, what you're trying to accomplish, and you're not familiar with all the different options in the marketplace as far as extensions to Salesforce, that can be very difficult and that can provide some challenges for organizations that aren't suited to manage that sort of environment. So just because the Salesforce product is flexible and allows you to do a lot of different things doesn't necessarily mean you should do those things. So it's very important that you have a clear vision of what it is you want 
and that you feel comfortable with your own discipline internally to be able to manage that flexibility to ensure you have some clear direction for how the product is implemented. Another disadvantage or trade-off with Salesforce is the fact that it is so broad, so complex. It allows this open architecture. It allows third-party applications and integration to other tools. That's mostly a good thing, but it does put more pressure and strain on your internal IT capabilities. So for that reason, a lot of larger organizations that have more sophisticated and mature IT departments find that they can handle Salesforce and they're able to manage the deployment both initially and longer term after it's been deployed. But smaller and mid-sized organizations that maybe don't have an IT department or don't have strong technical sophistication may find it overwhelming to try to manage a Salesforce environment, particularly if you are integrating to other systems or using third-party bolt-ons to the force.com platform and that sort of thing. So that's something to keep in mind as well is that Salesforce generally requires more mature and sophisticated internal IT capabilities than other CRM systems in the marketplace. Now, one of the big challenges with Salesforce, even though at the beginning of the video I mentioned that Salesforce isn't trying to be everything to everyone, they're focused on providing a CRM function and software and solution that's better than other systems out there, particularly on the ERP side, while that's still true, they are also extending their footprint, which I've also mentioned. They've opened up their architecture to provide third-party applications that can extend into traditional ERP segments of an enterprise. So I mentioned financial force on the financial side, for example. That's the core of what a lot of ERP systems do. So if you're a sales organization that's just looking for a solid CRM system, that's one thing. But if you're looking for a CRM system plus ERP capabilities, that's a different set of requirements and needs and solutions. So it's very important to recognize what is it you're trying to accomplish. Are you trying to just find a good CRM solution, in which case Salesforce could be a great fit, or are you trying to find a broader ERP solution, which may or may not be a good fit for Salesforce plus its bolt-ons. So it's very important to recognize what direction or what angle you want to approach your evaluation and implementation from to determine whether or not Salesforce is the right fit just for CRM, or if you're looking for more of a broader ERP capability, in which case other ERP vendors in the marketplace might be better fits for you. So I've given you a lot to think about today. The question becomes, is Salesforce the right fit for you and your CRM needs? It really just depends on your requirements, your needs, your priorities. I've provided some pros and cons that will hopefully paint a picture for you and help you understand whether or not Salesforce is something that you should be considering on your short list. But what I would summarize by saying is that if you're looking for something that's flexible, that can handle CRM very well, provide a lot of depth and flexibility and capability within Salesforce automation, and you have the internal IT capability to support a product like that, then Salesforce can be a great fit. If you're looking for something that's more of a broader ERP capability, or you're looking for something that might provide better best practices and more structured processes and how you might run your sales organization, or if you're a smaller mid-sized organization, there might be better options out there on the CRM or ERP side of things that might be better fits for you. So it's really a matter of first understanding your priorities as an organization before determining whether or not that's the right fit. So I hope you found this review helpful. I encourage you to please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and provide any comments you have. If you have experience with Salesforce or maybe some of its competitors, I'd love to hear your feedback and what your experience has been. I also encourage you to download our 2020 ERP report, which captures best practices and top 10 rankings of the leading ERP and CRM systems out there in the marketplace. I've included a link to that below. So I hope you found this information useful and hope you have a great day.